All right, it's uh, May 3rd. I'm uh, making this video to show that uh, um, a full bridge wave rectifier is not needed to hit resonance. Uh, everything is above the neutral line on this video. I'm sorry that we have uh, some background light here, but uh, I just wanted to show a little bit more detail about my circuit and about what's going on here. Um, there's 11 pipes hooked up uh, to my fuel cell here. They're all kind of running. This one right there is having a little trouble, but I did test it earlier and it wasn't shorting out. There's something else going on with that one. Um, maybe it's just too close together, I don't know. Um, they all are connected in series. I know this is a jumbled mess, but um, if you really want it to, you can stop motion the, uh, the uh, video and you can see that all these um, are tied together in pretty much in series. Um, the one in the back is not, as you can see, connected. Um, the power one, uh, actually this is the, this white one is the neutral, or I'm sorry, the ground one, and this is the hot one. But uh, so, that, so they're not right next to each other. They're actually uh, right across from each other, but they're affecting all of the pipes in the fuel cell. Um, as for the circuit, um, something that didn't get mentioned on the discussion groups was uh, my bifiller winding, uh, what was actually done to modify this. Um, besides the bifiller winding on the bottom, right next to the ferrite, uh, there is a primary uh, of 24 gauge wrapped on top of that and then on top of that is wrapped a secondary which is a real thin gauge either 29 or 30 gauge wire it was a uh, it was a lot thinner wire I don't know for sure right off the top of my head but I believe it was 30 gauge it was about a 3 to 1 winding to the primary um, my circuit is a Dave Lawton pulse with modulator but it has a modification. It has two NAND uh, gates being used, similar, very similar to uh, JL Nodden's circuit, which is here. This is JL Nodden's circuit right off of his website. Yeah, as you can see, it's got two NAND gates, but something that's gonna probably hinder people from getting resonance is the fact that he's only got two frequency generators hooked up to it. He doesn't have any duty cycles. He just has the frequency uh, the, the two frequencies labeled here. So that might throw people off. But the nice thing is, it does have your two transformers separated by a diode right there. And it shows exactly how it's supposed to hook up to the, the, uh, uh, to the, the, the cell and to the transistor, the MOSFET transistor. Uh, sorry about the fogginess on this, uh, but essentially it's still going. Uh, it does have to be uh, this the signal voltage does have to be slightly once you tune in to, to resonance you do occasionally have to as you can see if you just tune it ever so slightly on the signal you will you will cause it to to stay within resonance so that's a one tuning knob solution for staying within resonance if it starts drifting around and it does drift it does drift um, if you want to see the Dave Lawton circuit that I used, it is right here. Right now I am tapped into, let's see, I know it's messy guys, uh, but I'm using the smallest, the smallest one here, which is one microfarad. And I'm using the smallest one on here, which is 10 nanofarads. And uh, these are electrolytic capacitors on this side I'm using, and these are the ceramic ones on this side that I'm using. Um, so I'm doing it exactly like they say. I am leaving off these two resistors, the 220 and the 820 resistors. They are not on there. Um, it is going straight out of the NAND gate and going directly into the gate of the MOSFET right here. And this, oh, by the way, this is an 800-volt MOSFET. 
Uh, don't try using the 600 volt one that I mentioned on the discussion group. It is low power and it does not work worth the darn. So uh, I would stay away from that one. You might want to try the 400 if you're if you really want, um, depending on your other equipment. But uh, this is what I have right now. It's a 800 volt, and the model itself is is mentioned on the discussion group. So I would stick with that one. Um, Again, the model for the NAND is also mentioned. All this other stuff I either got at DigiKey or I got at Radio Shack. Um, and then again, the bifiller winding also has the uh, wraps of primary and secondary on top of that. Um, it's an 8 inch rod, 5 8 inch diameter. I got 12 of them on, on eBay, I believe for about 55 bucks. I don't know if they sell them anymore, but I haven't seen any since, but you might be able to find them. Um, besides that, nothing really else is going on here. As you can see, there's no wa bridge wave rectifier. There's only a, a happy little high voltage diode right there, and it's connected directly, excuse me, it's connected exactly as shown in the JL Nodden video or in JL Nodden diagram right here. This is how it's hooked up. So go for it guys. And by the way, I don't know if this is going to work on a digital oscilloscope. All I have on me is two analog scopes. One was donated. This little old one was donated here. And this, this uh, newer one I bought on Amazon for about 80 bucks because they it didn't come with any probes, so they refunded about 20 bucks. Otherwise, it was a hundred dollar setup. Um, this power supply is a Mastec uh, DC uh, HY 3000 3005F-3. I paid about 182 dollars for that again on Amazon. Um, so that's what's going on. Um, Here's all the bubbles sitting on top. <laughs> um, just for safety purposes, I am outside. I would like to mention that um, igniting this many bubbles will probably damage your hearing. So I would recommend do not light that. I'm just simply going to pop them off and uh, and uh, before I and dump it out before I take it inside. Uh, but but for for everybody's sake don't ignite that much. That's probably about four inches in diameter by about a half an inch high and it's way too much for your hearing so please don't let people play with that much gas. Anyway so that's my setup. I'm gonna be sending this over to Russ and uh, probably a couple other people and um, like I said it's it ain't so bad so uh, let's let's all try to hook this up and hit resonance and once you have that then you can uh, start building your coil like this and uh, and get yourself some stainless steel wire and then try to hit resonance with that um, the amperage going through is is quite is is higher than I want to right now but again I'm using tap water here I'm not using distilled water so it does change you will see some different uh, characteristics and different dynamics as you crank this thing up. Anyway, good luck everybody and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.